welcome again to another video guys today is our premium korean lever showdown uh video we will be joined by a few friends from uh, malayan colleges uh malayan esports club and uh, malayan warlocks uh we'll be to here today at rematch modern arcade lounge so today we'll be pitting four levers against each other four of the most premium levers out there right now we'll be having our friends who are relatively new to uh, Korean levers, try them out and give their first impressions uh, and their thoughts on the levers. Just a disclaimer guys, this is obviously not going to be one of those in-depth Korean lever breakdowns that Alex Nostalgics does on his channel. Uh, obviously we don't have that big of a time frame to have an accurate uh, representation of how these levers would feel in the in the long run this is more so a first impressions type of video uh, where you know newer players will just give their thoughts on it for playing on and playing on them for the first time so if you do want to watch uh, in-depth korean lever or reviews go ahead to uh, alex nostalgic's channel i will link his channel down below in the description you can go do that uh, thanks Hi, my name is Simon. My IGN is so airy. I've been a secretary for I'm a secretary for the Malayan Esports Club Tekken 17. And I've been playing Tekken for almost three years and I am a Devil Jin main. I started playing Tekken at the arcade, so I really want to have a stick on my own. So in 2018 I received my first stick which is the Hori Real Arcade Pro V3. And up until that point I've been saving so I got myself a fighting edge. Then I used a Hayabusa lever, modded it in 2 pounds, oversized actuator and an octagate. And my stick right now, my lever, is a crazy dong pal stock. So I'm looking for a short throw with a little harder tension, uh, probably a 35 and above like the dong pal. And I would want my stick to be, and I would like my diagonals to be balanced. And most of all, I want comfort in my levers. Uh, so this is the rematch lounge. This is where I usually play with my friends and practice. So let's go.
Okay, the Fujin V3. When I first tried the Fujin V3 on practice mode, doing wave dashes and back dashes, it was quite the effort to do. Uh, because of the long throw and the small actuator on the Fujin, I was uh, I was having misinputs when I was wave dashing and it was jumping. But during when I got warmed up on this stick, it was actually quite nice. It feels nice. It doesn't spin. It doesn't uh, goes again. It doesn't go against my inputs and overall it's a comfortable stick for those who are already experienced in Korean levers. Uh, I would recommend this to players who like long throws and who, who wants to improve on their craft. The longer you play on the Fujin V3, the better you'll be. Okay, playing in long sets in the Fujin V3 is quite a comfortable experience because it's not that hard of a tension. It's only a 45 so it's quite uh, soft for my taste but if you're first trying a Korean lever uh, this would probably be quite an effort to play in long sets okay. The knee lever. This is knee signature lever, so of course it's going to be modified by him or his. The specs of the stick is going to be uh, based on what his preferences are. And with that said, it's not your preference. <laughs> uh, this this stick is not for my liking, to be honest. Even though it's knee lever, uh, the bata has an incredible amount of spin, which makes it hard to do wave dashes and the like. But back dashes is fine. It's actually better than the first one I tried. Uh, another thing is is that it's too soft for my liking. It's not too much but it's still relatively soft and I have to adjust to it more than the Fujin or the Dongpal when I first tried it. Uh, overall this stick is a great stick for start beginners because they don't have they don't know what they like yet so it doesn't make any difference if they want to get a knee lever or any other. Mm -hmm. The throw of the stick is 
quite long. It's quite like the Fujin in that regard. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like uh, almost the same throw as the Fujin. Um, and the uh, diagonals, they're quite actually balanced. It's actually quite good to feel the diagonals here. And I feel like I have more comfortable electrics here. But this is, is not a Mish Mishima focus stick. This is more likely to be for all characters since he uses a lot of characters. He has to mind a lot of what his other characters do like Steve, Brian, Paul. I think this stick is quite good in that regard and that it it's a quite a versatile stick. Sanjok V5 is the one that I like the most uh, because it is a balanced stick it's kind of like the the CDP but it's qu quite better if you play on it a little bit more uh, I only got a chance to play for a few sets and I got good results uh, the throw is balanced it's normal but the diagonals is kind of smaller than the CDP so it requires more strict execution from the player and if you want a good lever that's balanced while still maintaining the high execution, this is the is one of the best levers out there. But it's kind of rare, so <laughs> doing wave dashes with the sanjok and back dashes is quite easy and reliable. I don't have any miss inputs, but just the inexperience of using the stick. That's why I have quite the slow wave dash on the one piece side. But on the two piece side, there's no problem there. Uh, for long sets, this kind of good. This a very good stick because it's light, but it's not that light that it hinders your execution. It's actually quite balanced, like the CDP. That's what I use for my stick. Um, it's good in long sets because it's not. It's not that tiring. Uh, I really like the feel. <laughs> okay. The feel is, very premium. Yes, it's kind of like premium. It's like a premium CDP. That's okay. what I feel. Okay. So
So this is the golden lever. This is Arcade Stick Indonesia's premier lever. It's one of the most premium uh, on the market because of its highly customizable parts and actual base. I, f I feel like this is the most easiest to use out of the four uh, because it's a balanced stick. It does well for any character. For Mishimas, it does extremely well for wave dashing, back dashing, electrics, and and more. The best thing that I would, the best thing that I like about the Golden Lever is that it's it's light, but it's not light that it hinders your execution, but rather it helps you because of the actual build of the Golden Lever itself. It has bearing, it has a bearing for the actuation. My movement on the Golden Lever is actually quite normal, but it's still due to the inexperience of the lever uh, my ex inexperience to the lever that's why i have some misinputs because of the of the actual lever it has builds that is not found in other korean levers. it's different it's different from other korean levers it's different from the cdp which i mainly use uh, this is so much smoother than the cdp is if you want to have a premium stick you have to go for the golden lever and if the golden lever stock is not to your liking you can always customize it with the other parts and that is the best thing about the golden lever the throw for the stock is balanced it's, everything is balanced the diagonals the short the throw the dead zone it's balanced it's not i don't exert too much effort when i'm input inputting my command so that's a great thing to have in a stick in in long sets it's not tiring to use at all it's actually very comfortable to use it's light it's ready for any command that you give it and it will respond so after simon was finished using all four levers uh, his sparring partner uh, teammate mark also used the levers as well and he he had some thoughts he'd like to share as well Uh, my name is Mark Anthony, ATN. Um, I belong to the team of Warlocks here in Malayan Warlocks. And I have been playing Tekken 7 for uh, a little over one year now. So today I will be uh, Simon's sparring partner and we will be testing out the new Korean lever that we have installed today. My, na my main is Lee and I've been playing Lee for, uh, since the release of Lee in Season 1. Um, with regards to me playing uh, Lee on this stick, uh, um, the back two loops, the, especially the back two loops, I didn't have uh, that much uh, problem with that because the tension of this of this uh, lever goes back to neutral immediately. So the back two loops is very easy to execute. The diagonals are fine. I don't have any uh, issues with it. Um, the what do you call this? The throw. Yeah, the, the throw is actually um, very different from my previous uh, sticks uh, as this stick is very uh, has a very long throw compared to my sticks that I use 
in the past. So if you're up with that with uh, long throws, then this stick is uh, very designed for you. If you are not, then you might need to adjust a little bit for this. So this is the uh, all-famous uh, knee lever. Um, my experience from this, uh, from sparring with Simon earlier, is the the tension of the lever is actually pretty decent for me at least because I do believe that this uh, this type of lever is designed for many characters for the the general type of characters. If you're playing a Mishima, I would suggest that you stay away from this personally. Um, the th the throw of it is pretty normal. Uh, it has yeah, it's pretty normal at, at most. The diagonals you can definitely feel the, the diagonals on here, even though it's um, it's a bit of a circle gate, but yeah, you can still feel the diagonals. It's actually very very precise. So to conclude this video, I asked Simon and Mark to pick their favorite lever out of the four and tell us why they picked it, what were their favorite parts about the lever, so on and so forth. So after testing four of the Korean levers that we have today, the one that I would have to choose, the one that I like the best for Mishima and in general, is the Sanjuk V5 lever. I like this stick because it is so balanced that you can play Mishimas extremely well and other characters. That means if you want to play Mishimas, you can play them on a high level with this lever. And if you want to play other characters, the Sanjuk V5 is also a very great choice. You don't have to be a Mishima player to have this. You can be just a very really good uh, Tekken player and the Sanjuk V5 will serve you very well in your in your games. Uh, so out of the four levers that I have tested today, we are aspiring with Simon. Um, the best that I have uh, experienced so far is the Fujin lever. So why the Fujin lever? The Fujin lever is basically this lever trains you um, to be a better uh, execution. Um, it helps uh, as you uh, train with this lever. It helps you grow your execution throughout uh, throughout your playstyle. Um, because of its strict diagonals, uh, it, uh, the lever helps you to become a better player in execution. Your inputs become less sloppy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So personally, my favorite one out of the four is the golden lever. I just love how it feels. The weight of the lever itself. It's not too tiring. It's very smooth. Uh, the bat top doesn't even uh, spin, even a little, honestly. And I think it's just super balanced, very easy to get into. Hi, my name is William and I'm the owner of Rematch Modern Arcade. And thank you all for coming here. And uh, for all of you second players out there, we're very, very happy to have you here. So hope you could come by and let's let's play some some games. So now that the video is over, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who made this video possible. Simon and Mark, uh, all the other MCL boys who helped us uh, film, um, to William who owns a rematch, uh, thank you for having us, and to everyone who finished this video until the end, thank you, please support our channel by liking and subscribing, uh, yeah, more videos coming soon, uh, thank you.